Reporters are freaking out about what Kellyanne just said about Comey on live TV. Kellyanne Conway said Donald Trump's decision to fire James Comey Tuesday had nothing to do with the FBI investigation into Russian interference in the presidential election. Conway, who acknowledged the firing of the FBI, should not be done lightly, said the president, had lost confidence in, in the FBI director. It's not a cover-up, Conway said during an interview with Anderson Cooper on CNN Tuesday night. The president makes it very clear in his letter. Comey assured him he's not under investigation. Cooper asked Conway why the Trump administration is now concerned about the investigation into Hillary Clinton's email. I think you're looking at the wrong set of facts here, she said. You're, gonna, you're going back to campaign. This man is president of the United States. He acted decisively today. You want this to be about Russia? When this is about uh, restoring public confidence in the FBI? Well, you want this to be about restoring public confidence in the FBI, Cooper cut in. Today's action had zero to do with that, Conway said. What happened to all the Democrats that had no confidence in Comey? when it was politically expedient for them. As President of the United States, he needs confidence in his FBI director. Cooper asked why Sessions was involved in the firing since he recused himself from all investigations into Russian interference in the election. Conway, Conway reacts to Trump firing Comey. Full interview, let's take a listen. Kellyanne, um, you know, to those who say, why now? Why fire James Comey now? What do you say? Well, I would point them to the three letters that were received today. Anderson, the letter by President Donald Trump, the letter by Attorney General Sessions, and really the underlying report by Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who the FBI director reports to. The FBI director traditionally reports to the Deputy Attorney General. Rod Rosenstein was confirmed just 14 days ago by a vote of 94 to 6 by our United States Senators. He's uh, well respected across both sides of the aisle. He served as U.S. Attorney in Maryland under President Obama. And he sent out a memo today to the Attorney General and the Ray line, Anderson says, quote, restoring public confidence in the FBI. Well, but a lot of this, most of this letter focuses on, on, on Hillary Clinton's emails. This is stuff that, as a candidate, Donald Trump praise James Comey for. James Comey, uh, Donald Trump talked about this on the campaign all the time. All of a sudden, the White House is concerned about James Comey's handling of Hillary Clinton's email. No, it's not all of a sudden, but there are many things covered in this letter. It goes to the fact that there's a lack well, of morale. The, the first that thing are, is all about the, the I mean, that, that main big The first thing is all is, about the, quote, FBI's reputation and credibility. It's right in the first paragraph. If we're reading the, the director was letter. wrong to usurp the attorney, the third paragraph, to, to usurp the attorney general's authority on J July 5th. I mean, why now are you concerned about the Hillary Clinton email investigation when, as a candidate, Donald Trump was praising it from the campaign trail? I, I think you're looking at the wrong set of facts here. In other words, your review, you're going back to the campaign. This man is the President of the United States. He acted decisively today. He took the recommendation of his Deputy Attorney General, who oversees the no FBI sense. directory. It he doesn't make sense. He's done that to the point. It makes, it makes complete sense because he has lost confidence in the FBI director, and he took the recommendation of Rod Rosenstein, the Deputy Attorney General, who to whom the FBI director reports to. Deputy, the Deputy Attorney General has been on the job for two short weeks. He went in there, he assessed the situation, and I would quote for you, he says that almost everyone agrees that the director, meaning Mr. Comey, made serious mistakes. It's one of the few issues that unites people of diverse, of, of diverse perspectives. This is a man who's trying to, quote, restore public confidence in the FBI. And I would, I would really ask everyone tonight, instead of conjecture, all you know, the conjecture, to read Mr. Rosenstein's memo. This is what he presented to the Attorney General who presented to the President. The but President it's actually his memo that a lot of people have been pointing to as saying that this is just bogus and, and ridiculous. I mean, Chairman Burr has said yeah. it raises serious concerns. A Republican who's head of the Senate Intelligence Committee uh, investigation is concerned about the timing of all of this. So the same senators that just voted to confirm this man 
whose integrity is not in doubt, 94 to 6, two short weeks ago, we're supposed to believe, um, I think, the derogatory descriptions you just made of him. That's not fair. And it was Senator Schumer who said about Mr. Rosenstein on the Senate floor on April 24th, and I quote, yeah, he has Senator developed Schumer a reputation said, for integrity. This is real concern. He's saying essentially this is a cover-up today. Well, he's wrong. It's not a cover-up. In fact, the president makes very clear in his letter the fact that Mr. Comey, on at least three occasions, assured the president that he is not under investigation. Yeah, when the president say that? says in when, his letter, on what the president says do that? The, the president says that's between the president of the United States and Director Comey. But he is telling him on at least three occasions, three occasions, he assured him he's not under investigation, Anderson. But at the same time, he is taking the recommendation of his deputy attorney general and the attorney general of the United States that it's time for fresh leadership and to restore integrity at the FBI. This is what leaders do. They take decisive action based on the information they're provided. That's what President Trump did today. You don't think it looks odd at all that the President of the United States is firing the guy who's leading the investigation into the President's White House and the people around the President? Well, let me repeat that the President has been told by the FBI Director that he's not under investigation. But that there is was right in the President's letter. Well, the President's letter is, I mean, yes, the President gratuitously in this letter says, while I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I'm not under investigation, he then goes on to say that uh, he agrees with the decision to uh, uh, to to fire to let go Comey. Um, but I mean, clearly, this White House is under investigation. The people around the president, the people around the president, are under investigation. No, you they you are. Yes. Uh, no, I don't. I know that you, that some are obsessed. You don't with the word James Russia, Comey Russia. said that there was an ongoing investigation. The president is not under investigation. I'm around the president. I'm not under investigation. I can name well, many people in that same situation, but I know everybody wants to. So you're saying say, there is no investigation by the FBI that's ongoing right now into the people around the president? If they had something on on Trump and Russia, Russia, it would have been out long that ago. To the extent that, that any of that is true, the president himself is excuse me is not the subject of investigation. And most importantly, are you talking about the folks who were involved in the campaign? Yeah. Okay, well, you said the people around the president. So are you talking about people who were uh, who well, were some of them were may, some of them may still be around the president. Some of them, I, I don't know exactly who is being investigated. Exactly. There is an ongoing investigation, investigation by the FBI. Donald Trump. But again, you want this to be about Russia when this is about quote restoring confidence and integrity of the FBI. Morale well, you is want low. this to allegedly be about restoring confidence in the FBI, but no, I'm, I'm not sure any, uh, many General. people believe this doesn't restore confidence in the FBI. In fact, a lot of people are raising questions about saying it destroys people's confidence in the FBI, that whoever the president may appoint is now going to be in charge of an investigation into people who have been close to the president during the campaign, any potential collusion with Russia. <laughs> and today's actions had zero to do with that. Today's actions have everything to do with what Mr. Rosenstein, the Deputy Attorney General who oversees the FBI Director, and he's been on the job for two weeks, but has been in government for decades and was recently served for President Obama as the U.S. Attorney in Maryland. Anderson, if everybody would read his letter rather than just try to squeeze it into a soundbite or wonder what he meant, I'm going to squeeze it into a soundbite. We've got two hours. I can read the whole letter over well, the course of the air tonight. Let's do that. I would, love to read, I would love to read the letter. I'm sure but, the President would but, love for us to read the letter out loud. Would you but, like me to start? But what I understand, in, in, in this kind of a letter, why not ask for a special prosecutor at this point? Is that this letter is, is about restoring public confidence in the FBI. Right, but in order to restore makes, public confidence, there's a lot of, I just talked to Adam Schiff, who's you know the leading uh, Democrat on, on the, yes. uh, the House uh, committee, right. who said we got to have a special prosecutor. John McCain has talked about the need for a special prosecutor. Okay, but what does that have to do with this letter? You're asking me the core question of why... Um, when you're talking about restoring confidence, today. there's a lot of people on Capitol Hill who say in order to restore confidence, we need a special prosecutor. You're saying what happened right? to all the Democrats? I've got all their quotes right here that had no confidence in Jim Comey when it was politically expedient for them. With their comments on October 28th, their comments on November 3rd, their comments <laughs> last Do week or two when Jim Comey testified again and had to correct There's plenty of a lot of Democrats today. who don't have confidence but feel the timing right now at this point in an investigation uh, into uh, possible collusion of people in the Trump campaign and, and Russia seems very odd that now all of a sudden the president has lost confidence in, in Jim Comey. Jeff Sessions told Anderson? Fox Business News in October 2016 that Comey had an absolute duty to make an October announcement and had to make one, uh, and had to make a July one. Why did he say that? 
Nothing, none of that has anything to do with today's actions. It has nothing to no, do with what Mr. Rosenstein Jeff Sessions included. said that, though, and now, they're, now you're taking issue with that very announcement. No, what Jeff Sessions said in his letter today is most important. What he said in his letter, read it, is that we need uh, in confidence and integrity and action capability at the FBI. And they feel that the current director was unable to perform his duties. So you mentioned the Democrats. That's rich. Because Actually, he's the same that. that no, you did. You said the Democrats don't have confidence. You just said that. You said Democrat a couple of times, Anderson, respectfully. Let's talk about the Democrats. Are these same Democrats who can't muster up a single vote for health care, a single vote uh, on budgetary matters, three, three whole votes on Judge Gorsuch, even though a dozen of them voted for him 11 short years ago to be a circuit court judge? Are these same Democrats who go out there every single day and say our job is to resist and obstruct? They don't want our democracy and our government to work about them. I just want to play you what, what, you're, what Donald Trump, the President of the United States, said about James Comey during the campaign. Let's play this. And I have to give the FBI credit. That was so bad what happened originally, and it took guts for Director Comey to make the move that he made in light of the kind of opposition he had where they're trying to protect her from criminal prosecution. I respect the fact that Director Comey was able to come back after what he did. I respect that very much. Good job by the FBI. I have respect that the FBI has given it a second chance. As you know, the FBI, and I give them a lot of credit because they're fighting forces that they're not supposed to that be. That was fighting. then, this I is really now. I disagreed with him. I was not his fan. But I'll tell you what, what he did, he brought back his reputation. He brought it back. He's got to hang tough because there's a lot of, a lot of people want him to do the wrong thing. What he did was the right thing. So now your White House is saying that what he did was wrong, but previously, as a candidate, Donald Trump was saying it was the right thing. You're conflating two things that don't belong together. Thanks for the trip down memory lane. I was on your show often last fall saying we were going to win Michigan and how we were going to do it. So that was fun. But here's what happened today. Today, not in a campaign, in the White House, the President of the United States took So that person doesn't action. exist anymore. Camp candidate Donald Trump, that's a, that's a fictional character we no longer are allowed to refer to. We can now only refer to the Donald Trump who exists today. Anderson, I'll, I'll ignore how unkind that is, and all I'll say is, as President of the United States, he needs confidence in his FBI director, and he doesn't have it. And the Attorney, General, the Deputy the Deputy Attorney General didn't have it. Well, read this letter. Read these letters. It's a, con it's, it's just a, con it's a confluence of events. What, what Mr. Rosenstein says is so important. He says, quote, the FBI's reputation and credibility have su suffered substantial damage. Quote, I cannot defend the director's handling of the conclusion of the investigation of Secretary Clinton's emails. Quote, the FBI director is never empowered to supplant federal prosecutors and assume command of the Justice Department. Quote, we do not hold press conferences to release derogatory information about the subject of a decline criminal investigation. He also says that the di dismissal of an FBI director, the firing of FBI director should not be done lightly, and that he doesn't take this, he doesn't, he's not doing this lightly, but he still thinks that we need to regain, quote, public and congressional trust if we have a director who, quote, understands the gravity of the mistakes and pledges and never to repeat them. I mean, that is that is what's happened. This has nothing to do with the campaign from six months ago. This has okay. everything to do with the performance of the FBI director since the president has been in the White House. He took the action. He's not, an, he's, not, he's not a subject of an investigation, and I, we appreciate the time and the platform tonight. And just Thank finally, you. just finally, Jeff Sessions, who has recused himself for anything to do with Russia, why was he involved in this decision? Why somebody has recused himself any, having anything to do with the Russia investigation involved in the decision to fire the guy who's heading the Russia investigation? Does okay, that look the FBI, you? the FBI director reports to the Deputy Attorney General, the Deputy Attorney General reports to the Attorney General, the Attorney General reports to the President of the United States. This had nothing to do with Russia as much as somebody must be getting $50 every time the word is said, I'm convinced, on TV. This has nothing to do with Russia. It has everything to do with whether the current FBI director has the president's confidence and can faithfully and capably execute his duties. The deputy attorney general decided that was not the case. He wrote a very long memorandum about it. He presented that to the attorney general. The attorney general presented it to the president. The president 
took the recommendations, as he says in his brief but very powerful letter today, he took their recommendations and he agreed that the only way to restore confidence and trust, public trust and confidence in its vital law force enforcement mission, that of the FBI, was to have a new director. Kelly and Kelly, I appreciate your time tonight as always. Thank you, Thank Anderson. You. Well, there you have it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you again for watching.